Bienvenue à tous. Welcome to Reporters here on France 24. And welcome to our correspondent, newly arrived from Japan, Constantin Simon. Constantin, great to see you. Great to now, you're here with a story which I think will shock many of you. It concerns people called the Hikikomori. Um, what they go through, how they live, I've found really shocking. Tell us what this name actually means. Tell us what this is all about. Hikikomori is a Japanese term. It means to retreat or hide inside yourself. Someone who's isolated socially, spatially and psychologically. So these people effectively are living in their own world, detached completely from society like hermits. They may still have family links. They have to eat. Often this phenomenon occurs among young people, young people who aren't able to find a job or enter education and who decide to drop out of the competitive world, competitive Japanese society, who live off their parents playing video games. Now this is happening at all ages in society. That's what's interesting. That's the goal of this report, to show that this can affect old people also, can affect everyone. There are half a million hikikomori in Japan. Tout le monde, il y a en tout un demi million de japonais hikikomori. Constantin, thank you. We'll hear more from Constantin Simon after his report about the hikikomori in Japan. While these caged birds perhaps dream of spreading their wings, Yusuke has no desire to join them. Instead, he avoids all contact with the world beyond the tiny room he's barely left in the last decade. He's a hikikomori, the Japanese word for a person who seeks isolation and who never leaves home. I need the sound of the TV, otherwise I don't feel well. The silence reminds me that I'm alone. I often stay in my futon the whole day and just stare at the ceiling. Yusuke had a normal childhood, but at university he was bullied by one of his professors and other students. The trauma turned him against people in general. Since then, time has stood still. He's 32, but his room looks like it belongs to a teenager. He struggles to find the words to express himself, as if he's trying to find a sense of direction in life. It is as if I forget everything, that nothing is clear-cut. All I know is that my body feels heavy. I'm afraid of the world. Even a phone call or an email stress me out. A form of depression or other mental health problem a social phobia or an act of rebellion. Whatever the diagnosis, hikikomori people are united by an inability to comply with the Japan's strict rules of social interaction. On the other side of the room, Yusuke's mother is preparing a meal for him. Most hikikomori depend on their parents to survive. The parents are ashamed of their children, members of a lost generation in a society that places a premium on work. I've stood outside his bedroom door many times and begged him to come out, to go to the park or the bird shop, because he likes birds. I don't know what to do. I've consulted doctors and been to seminars. All I can say is that it's hard, really hard. He's not interested in anything. I've tried to get him interested in things, but he doesn't want to go out. It's making me depressed too. The hikikomori phenomenon was identified in the late 1990s, when Japan's post-bubble economic troubles hit young people particularly hard. But today, the hikikomori generation is not made up of a specific age group or people from a certain social background. Most of them are men, but an increasing number are women. The ability to order just about everything they need online means they never have to leave their rooms. Alice has lived a reclusive life for a total of five years. Okay, so... 
I went through my first hikikimori phase when I was young, but I managed to come out of it. Then I went to university, found a job and a boyfriend. I thought I had been spared. And then finally I had a relapse. It's as if the lights have been turned off. I have no willpower, no desire to do anything. There is nothing inside anymore. Alice ended up leaving her job and her husband. These days, though, she feels more comfortable talking to people. Others are not so fortunate. Every year, an estimated 30,000 reclusive people die alone in Japan. They're not suicides, but solitary, silent ends. This room was once home to a 68-year-old man. Keep all the documents organized, social security slips, tax papers, bills and bank cards. Neighbours alerted the authorities after noticing the smell, two months after his death. These are the belongings of a person who died alone. Several companies specialise in cleaning apartments once occupied by tenants who died alone. His legs were here and his head there. He must have had a fall. The mysterious life of the former occupants is slowly unravelling. After working as an accountant for 40 years, he, like an increasing number of Japanese, stopped communicating with the outside world after he retired. Ratatouille, beans, ready meals. These are typical of the foods eaten by people who live alone. I go about my cleaning methodically and try not to think about the circumstances or delve too deeply into the life of the people whose places I'm cleaning. All the same, I can't avoid seeing their possessions. So I tell myself that I'm going to get married and not end up alone like them. As Japanese society ages, so do the hikikomori. The older they are, the lonelier they become. With no family or friends to look out for them, they simply fade from view, ignored by the rest of society. If these people had more contact with their neighbours, we could have avoided these solitary deaths. People should pay more attention to others and try to build a real community spirit, with proper communication between neighbours. The dead man did have someone, his niece, who's come to collect his possessions and pay the 4,000 euro cleaning bill. Do you want to keep these documents? Yes, I have already put aside all of the important ones. I care. Then I called him and he didn't answer. But then I sometimes uh, visit him or call or send a message. That's all. I care. Yeah, I, I try to him out, like, let's go to dinner or something. I told him he didn't want to. He was, refused. He was very uh, lonely. Mm -hmm. But he, he likes that way. He lived alone, and then he died alone. The hikikomori seem determined to hang on to their solitude yet many dream of a different life. To address the problem, the Japanese government this year conducted its first nationwide study of hikikomori aged over 40. Teppe Sekimizu, who's published a book on hikikomori, says modern Japanese society is to blame. 
ヨーロッパのような個人主義の社会と比較すると、Unlike European countries that value the importance of the individual, the Japanese emphasize common rules. In that sense, an individual's value is dependent on his ability to conform to the rules. Set by the group. The hikikomori are people who are unable to do that, and as a result, they feel completely useless. They're ashamed. They are incapable of following the rules of society, and they suffer from feelings of guilt as a result. Some non governmental organizations offer job training to those who are willing to leave their rooms for a few hours. This is how you create an Excel file. This group teaches the basics composing an invoice, emailing a senior colleague, speaking in public, or simply laughing and relaxing among other people. I would like to ask a question, but I don't know how. First, we ask them to come only twice a month, as initially the aim is just to persuade them to leave their homes. We start slowly. We don't have sessions every day. We can't ask too much of them. Around two out of three participants lose interest. But the others go on to find jobs with companies working alongside the NGO. It took this man three years to recover. Before I was incapable of speaking, but I'm not scared anymore. I can communicate with my colleagues and work as part of a team. I think that's what I really learned here to collaborate and communicate. I can start my life again. I have more confidence now. For him and others, normality means accepting society's conventions, but not its stress on conformity. Alice has been working at a startup for the past few months. Her employer knows about her past and allows her some freedom. Most importantly, she's no longer afraid of going out and meeting other people. In the beginning, my eyes were so used to the darkness of my room that the sunlight was blinding. I couldn't bear it. I suffered with that for a long time. Once a month, she goes to an editorial meeting of a magazine that's by and for the Hikikomori. Everyone working for the publication, which launched early this year, have spent time living in isolation. Today, though, they're eager to share their experiences. In the beginning, it was a voyage of discovery. I finally felt comfortable with people, because here everybody has experienced a bit of what I lived through. I don't like being in places where there are a lot of people. But here, we know each other and don't judge each other. We can behave how we like. We don't even have to sit down if we don't want to. Having lived on the fringes of society, these men and women have overcome their sense of shame and now have an outlet for their personalities. Their monthly magazine, Hikiposu, is available online and in print and has several thousand readers. They include Hikikomori and parents hoping to better understand what their children are going through. For our next cover, we can choose a man or a woman, but the person should really have a personality. This young girl conveys the pain of living. She reflects an underground alternative culture. A lot of people have negative feelings towards hikikomori. They think we are spoilt or lazy. But we hope to change that misconception through this magazine. This group of people have an even bigger ambition to challenge society's obsession with productivity and competition. Japanese people think that if someone doesn't work, then he or she is worthless. But by talking, by reflecting on the hikikomori phenomenon, we can show a different way of living. That's important. <laughs> None of them chose to live cut off from the rest of society, but today they're using their experience to find meaning in life. 
That offers hope to the estimated half a million hikikomori who have yet to find their way back into the outside world. Constantin Simon is still here with us, of course, for more about that film. It was, I found it disturbing, frankly, Constantin, what you showed us, this phenomenon in Japanese society. And the image we're showing now, just behind you, uh, is really haunting. Tell us more about how that affected you. Exactly. It's rare that a report affects me to this extent. I keep thinking about it. It's haunted me for weeks afterwards. Simply seeing how this man lived, discovering what he liked, the records he liked, the books he read, his clothes. There's something a bit strange in that. But it says a lot about the problem of solitude in Japan, solitude of the elderly. Japanese people often become isolated when they no longer work, do business. This solitude affects all Japanese people, even young people. And what's really shocking is the way a company like this and other companies like that are, are building their business on cleaning up apartments in such terrible circumstances, people dying, being left there for weeks. It's, it's, it's so shocking and disturbing to think of. But this phenomenon of the hikikomori, it's affecting old people, but also young people too. It's like people in Japan just can't find their place, or certain people anyway. Exactly. There's a societal problem in Japan that affects everyone, because the traditional structures, family, work, community, are deteriorating and can't help people. That's what I felt, a lot of sadness, a lot of despair. So yes, there is an industry built on this distress, people who take advantage of it. But it's necessary. These apartments need cleaning. 30,000 people die every year. And then there there are people who are benefiting, there are entrepreneurs who have invested a lot of money in this area. Constantin, we're seeing the images behind us of, of central Tokyo, and of course there are so many people, it's hard to imagine people being so isolated. It's happening in Japan, could it happen here in the West? That's right. That also shocked me. To discover that this Japanese phenomenon, first recognized in Japan, is spreading, notably in the West, in countries including France. The hikokomori I spoke to are in contact, sometimes on a daily basis, with other people like them. In France, for example. Constantin Simon, thank you very much indeed. Never has the biblical phrase, love thy neighbor, been more relevant. Talk to the people around you, talk to your friends, make friends. Still a phenomenon that we're observing, the Hikokomori in uh, Japan. Constantin Simon's report. See it again via France24.com. This is Reporters on France24. Stay with us.